The concept for this year's parade was Chiluminati, Nerd World Order. It was a natural progression from turning Chewbacca into a religious entity to go even deeper and make the Mardi Gras crew into a conspiracy theory. As part of that, we decided to elect the royalty via conceptual scavenger hunt. It's this whole journey to like attain this status as the Lizard King of Chewbacca uh, that's completely different from anything that anybody else has ever done. There can be only one. It really came down to, to Rick and Keith. We're head to head. It was great to watch. My name is Keith Green. I'm a Chewbacca alien. My name is Ricky Austri. I think I solved six of the nine clues first. My experience with the first nine clues was um, incredibly diverse. Number nine was math, but number seven was um, Photoshop. Number four was calling a, deciphering a poem, calling a phone number, and, and figuring out Morse code. Through the glass behind the book, there's something infinite inside the wook. We had these handful of fake Facebook contacts. There was Derp Throat, who was one of the first people. Um, Alpha Stumbledong. Some of them, I was like, maybe this is like an actual profile of, of a person. It was a key factor that one of my uh, royal advisors had let in on was that uh, he said, Keith, read the rules. So I go look and I'm like, there's no freaking rules for this. There were a couple things that I did that to mess with the Chuluminati. For instance, I once went to Castillo Blanco and I had a notebook with me and I was like scribbling notes in the notebook the whole time I was there and I, I, I left it there on purpose. And like, yeah, I hope Keith saw that. I have never dreamed of being able to join a Mardi Gras crew. Get into this, which is just my flavor. It's just so exciting to be a member in the crew. But to be the friggin' king, that was sweet. In spite of like how sour I am, I think Keith Green's gonna look really good in lizard makeup. <laughs> All hail the lizard king!